These next set of questions all deal with part-to-whole ratios. Part-to-whole ratios are expressed as a fraction where the numerator is the part and the denominator is the whole. So let's take a look at our first example. We have a group of preschoolers has 8 boys and 24 girls. What is the ratio of girls to all children? So we first have to find the number of girls and then we have to find the number of the whole children. So the girls is going to be our part and then all of the children are going to be our whole. So the number of girls is given to us to be 24 and then all of our children is going to be our boys plus our girls. So we're going to have the number of boys plus the number of girls. So 8 plus 24 gives us 32. So 32 is going to be our number of all the children which is going to be our whole. So to write our part to whole ratio we're going to have our part which is our number of girls up top and then our whole in the denominator to be our number of children, which is 32. So our part to whole ratio is 24 over 32, but this can be reduced down if you divide the top and the bottom by 8. So 24 divided by 8 is 3, and then 32 divided by 8 is 4. So your reduced part to whole ratio is 3 over 4. Now moving on to question 2, we have a gardening club that has 21 members, 13 are male and the rest are female. We need to find the ratio of females to all club members. So our part is going to be our female and then our whole is going to be our club members. We need to find our part because we're only given the number of members and the number of males. So to find our number of females, we're going to take our total number of the club, which is 21, and subtract it by the number of males, which is 13. And we get 21 minus 13 to give us 8. So the number of females are 8. Now to write our part to whole ratio, we're going to need our part on the top, which is our number of females, to be 8, and then on the denominator is going to be our whole, so the number of all club members, which is given to us in our problem, to be 21. So we're going to have 8 over 21, and 8 over 21 cannot be reduced down any further, so this is our final part to whole ratio. Moving on to question 3, we have Noah who drew 22 hearts and 76 circles. We need to find the ratio of circles to all shapes. So we have the number of circles to be 76, and now we need to find all shapes. So we need to add the number of hearts to the number of circles. 22 plus 76 gives us 98, so 98 is going to be our whole. Now to write our part to whole ratio, we're going to have our part on the top, so we're going to have 76 circles on top, divided by our whole, which is the number of all shapes, which we just found to be 98. And then 76 over 98 can be reduced down if we divide the top and the bottom by 2. 76 divided by 2 is 38, and 98 divided by 2 is 49. So our final reduced part to whole ratio is 38 over 49. Moving on to our final question, we have a recipe that calls for 2 parts sugar, 5 parts flour, and 3 parts milk. And we need to find the ratio of sugar to the whole recipe. We know the part of sugar is to be 2, but now we need to find the whole recipe. So to find the whole recipe, we have to add all parts of sugar, all parts of flour, and all parts of milk. So we have 2 parts sugar, plus 5 parts flour, plus 3 parts milk. And 2 plus 5 plus 3 gives us 10, so 10 is going to be our whole. Now to write our ratio of part to whole, we need our part on the top, which should be 2 parts sugar, and on the bottom is our whole which we have a total of 10 parts in the recipe. Now this 2 over 10 can be reduced down if we divide the top and bottom by 2. So we're left with 1 over 5 as our reduced part to whole ratio.